Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and here are some sports romances that I'm going to be recommending today. I have 10 recommendations today. If you want more recommendations, this is I think my second or third video I've done with this trope before. I'll leave the other videos linked down below if you wanna go check those out. But anyway, yeah, these are 10 sports romances. First is a recent read of mine. This is Sweet Spot by Rebecca Genshag. This is actually a golf romance, which I feel like is very rare. I know that Tessa Bailey just came out with one, but I haven't read that one yet. Our heroine of this story is in college and our hero is older, I think like 10 years older than her. He used to be a professional golf player, I'm pretty sure. He kind of has his company now where he has this app and this service where um, athletes can be trained by professionals and coaches and he's kind of like in charge of this whole business. Anyway, he goes to the Heroines College because the boys like golf team, the men's team, ended up hiring him to help with like pointers and their swings and everything like that, like pointers, like he's gonna help them for the day. After their session is over, he sees the heroine hitting golf balls after her practice, after the women's practice, and he sees a lot of potential there and it's basically like him coaching her and it's their romance. I just love the discussion of golf. I know like nothing about golf, but this book really broke a lot of it down for me. <laughs> I only know things like Papa Golf and We Golf and that's it. So um, <laughs> this was actually pretty easy to understand with it being a sport I know like nothing about. And I also love the passion both of these characters have for the sport. Cause you don't, again, you don't see golf a lot in like, any type of media I feel like and so I really loved seeing the passion that both these characters had for golf and then they end up falling for each other while he's coaching her it is forbidden because like that's her coach and then like there's an age difference there but uh they, they can't help it I do have two books from the Chestnut Spring series by uh Elsie Silver I do know the fourth book is also one but I haven't read that one yet I read three of them these two are sports-ish romances. Okay, um, so number one is Flawless, the first book in the series. The hero in here is a professional bull rider. That is definitely a sport, okay? They gotta keep tip-top shape to ride these crazy bulls, okay? Rhett is our hero and Summer is the heroine. And yeah, Rhett is a professional bull rider and Summer is brought on to be his media babysitter, his professional babysitter, if you will. She's gonna move in with him and his family ranch to make sure he's gonna be good to go and not be in the media's like limelight for the next few months, next few weeks, because he's starting to lose sponsorships because of something very idiotic that he said, like online, like a week or two ago before this book takes place. And so she's there kind of like clean up his mess and make sure he doesn't get into any more mess. Um, and these two fall for each other. I loved Rhett. Oh, uh, Rhett in here, so hot with him and his bull riding. It's definitely a sport y'all, it goes. It is hard. And then the other book is Powerless, which is book number three. This one's about Jasper and Sloane. So Jasper's kind of like the adoptive brother into the Eaton family that this series all is about, right? And um, Sloane in here is actually like the hero from book one, like Rhett's cousin. So these two are not related by the way, like at all, obviously. <laughs> but they're like best friends. They grew up together and they're each other's best friends. But then Sloane, um, and needs help running away from her wedding because she finds out that her fiance is garbage. So she asks Jasper to help her escape this wedding and she just goes along with him while he is traveling around the US with his hockey team. The hero, Jasper, is a hockey player. So there's a little bit of hockey in here, but not all that much. If you want kind of like a light hockey romance, pick this one up, but it's basically like them like in the car traveling around the country while he's on the ice and stuff. One that I love is Catch and Cradle by Katya Rose. This is a lacrosse romance. It's a college romance. Both heroines in here, this is sapphic by the way, both heroines are on the lacrosse team and uh, one's like a sophomore and the other one's a senior. This heroine right here, the senior is the captain and anyway, they start developing these feelings for one another. However, there's this big rule on the team that like uh, teammates like can't be romantically involved with each other. There's not like a rule. It's like very well known. Like mm -mm, that's not supposed to be happening. You should not be doing that because of something that happened like years ago between two other players on the team. And so they've kind of like learned like we should not be dating our players. Like players should not be dating each other, but these two just fall for each other. I love this book. It deals a lot with also dyslexia. There's dyslexia representation and just like college romance and, and just like college things also. Like our heroine who is a senior, she's like dealing with this mindset of like, I've spent all four years trying to get this degree that I'm not passionate about anymore. And what do I want out of life? And like, girl, who I felt you. So I really related 
to these characters. And the cross, by the way, is a big part of this book. So if you want like a sports romance where the sport is like ooh, heavy in there, definitely recommend Catch a Cradle. Another one where sports are like a big thing, a part of the book is If Only You by Chloe Lisa. Um, this is really cool because I think this is the first sports romance that I read where both hero and heroine play a sport. It's not the same sport, but they both play sports. Both of them are athletes. So this is the fake friendship romance between Ziggy and Sebastian. Um, Sebastian is on Ziggy's brother's hockey team and they both kind of need a better name in the media. And so they decide to hang out in front of the paparazzi, in front of media, out in public, so they can see like they're, they're friends. They're not actually friends, but then they actually do turn into friends. Um, they become like each other's best friend and it turns into something more. Ziggy is a professional soccer player, by the way. So he plays hockey, she plays soccer. And I love the way the two of them support each other in their sports. You have autism representation as well. Ziggy is autistic and our hero, Sebastian, is being diagnosed with celiac disease, which is own voices as well. The autism and the celiac is own voices because Chloe Lisa has both of them. Next, I have The Bombshell Fact by Carla Sorensen. This is her first book in the Washington Wolf series, which is a football romance series. The heroine of story inherited the this football team from her dad. Anyway, the hero and the heroine meet one day because the heroine actually moved in next door to the hero, but they don't know that they have this connection of her now owning the football team that he is on. Anyway, she goes next door to kind of like say, hi, be neighborly. He's gonna bring over some cupcakes. And he kind of like slams the door in her face because he assumes that she's like some groupie or something, some fangirl um, when she is not. And things get a little bit awkward the next day at work when he's like, oh my gosh, that is my new boss. I shut the door in her face yesterday. What am I going to do? And obviously there's a forbidden aspect because she is the owner of the team that he is a part of now. Um, it's also single dad. The hero is a single dad. I loved the single dad aspect in this one. The spinoff series, which is the Ward Sisters series, is also a football romance. This is a spinoff series to the book I just talked about. Um, the, the book I just talked about, the other football romance, um, that one has three books in it. And the third book is about a guy who has three younger sisters that he is the guardian of. So this is a series about those four sisters all grown up in their romance. So the first book in the series is Focused. And this is kind of like a second chance kind of thing with our heroine. She is actually a part of like the, I want to say management or pub publicity, publicity <laughs> part of the football team that the hero is going to be a part of. And they knew each other years ago when they were both teenagers and something not great happened. And they're not really in each other's good graces after that thing and it's been years later since they've seen each other so sparks kind of fly again I, that was very vague but I don't really want to spoil anything with that one but this one's really fun I do need to read the rest of the Ward Sister series I read all the rest of the Washington Wolf series the original series I read all those but I do need to read the rest of the Ward Sisters next is a Sophie Lark book this is Snow it's a mafia romance and a sports romance so Snow in here is our hero and he is a part of this underground mafia fighting ring competition thing anyway he's like a fighter so the sports romance he is a fighter so the sports aspect in here is him being a fighter and the heroine has been blackmailed by this mafia guy not the hero a different mafia guy to be kind of like the mafia doctor and that's where they first meet is she's like kind of patching him up after he gets brutally beat up during a match kind of like love at first sight for the two of them but it's very forbidden because like if the boss man of the mafia ended up finding out about the two of them being together, like one of them would die, like for sure. So there's like a forbidden aspect in here. And I loved the fact that she was like a female doctor. You don't see a lot of women doctors out there, um, especially in romance books. So I really appreciate that. And um, the fighting part in here, who gets down and dirty. 40 Love by Olivia Dade is a tennis romance, which was really really fun. I keep saying these are fun, but they just are. The heroine of the story is on vacation with her best friend and she's just like in the ocean one day, like hanging out in the ocean. And then the ocean kind of like whoop, takes her top off her, like sweeps her top off her. And um, she's terrified because she works at a school and like, I think she's the principal. I think she's the principal. Anyway, um, she works at a school. And if it were to come out that like that she was found topless in the ocean. Horrible things would happen, obviously, right? Um, and these kids are kind of like coming into the ocean and the only person that's close by to her is this man who is very attractive looking and she's like flagging him down to help her with her situation. He ends up like kind of like being her shield 
and uh, making sure no one sees her with her top being gone and whatnot. Um, and he kind of like saves her from this whole situation. And she kind of is like, okay, done. Like that man is absolutely stunning, but he's number one, way too young for me. Like I'm older than him and he is way too gorgeous for me, but he cannot get this woman out of his mind. So he's gonna pursue her. Like mm, he wants her so badly. Um, he is also the tennis instructor at the resort that she's staying at. And he actually used to be a professional tennis player, um, but he experienced an injury and now he cannot play professionally anymore. Um, but he loves tennis. Actually her meddlesome best friend ends up signing her up at, for tennis lessons with him without her knowing. And um, so they actually have to spend a lot of time together during these tennis lessons and stuff like that. So like you learn a lot about tennis. I don't know anything about tennis. Again, I only really know the Wii tennis. <laughs> That's like it. So um, really, really, entertaining read um it gets really sweet but it's also really hot and the last one that i have is another fighter one um it's a novella this is making their vows by jessica kane so if you want like an insta love like insta lust like instant i know your mind like novella who you gotta pick this one up it is so good so um the heroine of the story i think she's like 18 or something and she and her friends are hanging out one night and her friends kind of like are like okay we know about this underground like fighting place like let's just go and she's like very hesitant to go with them but she's like i don't want to be left alone so she goes anyway they go to this place and she looks at the ring and sees the hero in the ring and she's immediately like whoa and then he catches her eye like she, she he looks at her and he's like whoa to you too and it's kind of just like goes from there like hmm it's a fun a little like spicy novella it's really fun um like he is like the ultimate alpha man and i can really appreciate that sometimes <laughs> anyways there you have it those are some sports romances for you let me know down below if you've read any of these books or if you plan to i would love to know and leave your sports romance recommendations down below if you don't feel like commenting any of those things you can leave me any like sport ball emoji like football baseball basketball whatever the case may be leave emoji down below. But anyways, thank y'all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.